Now, from your hyper-local weather source, this is your Norcast Weather Update. Brought to you by LEH Soap Company. Committed to hand-making natural skincare products in small batches. From vegan soap to our specialty bath line. Check out one of our five convenient locations in Atlantic and Cape May counties or visit us online at lehsoap.com. Hi everyone, I hope you had a great start to your week. Meteorologist Brittany Trumpy here. It was uh, hot and humid out there today, but today's really one of the more comfortable days as far as what we're tracking for the next few days. We're seeing the humidity rise all the way through till Friday, so we'll be feeling very hot and humid, but the actual air temperatures will also be on the rise. We're looking uh, at highs in the mid 90s, if not upper 90s by about Friday afternoon. So try to stay cool the next couple of days. Overnight tonight, not half bad. We're dropping back down mostly into the 60s. A couple of warmer spots, Cape May, Rehoboth. They'll be staying right around 70. Meanwhile, Glassboro down to 64. Same for Vineland. Looking at our temperatures for tomorrow, not too much warmer than what we saw today, but the dew points will be higher, so it'll be feeling warmer. We're also going to see a bit more sunshine for most of the day, so it will be feeling a little bit toastier out there for your Tuesday. Further inland, you're back up into the upper 80s. Look at Williamstown, 89 degrees. Same for Pitts Grove, Pennsville, 88, a, a little bit closer towards the river. So a hot day on the way. If we set things into motion, Tuesday, most of the day will be filled with a decent amount of sunshine and just a couple of spotty clouds. So if you had outdoor plans for tomorrow, you do not have to cancel them. You can still get outside and soak up some of that sunshine. Where things start to change, it's going to be in the late afternoon and into the early evening. We're going to see some storms kind of start to fire off in central PA and then slowly roll across New Jersey, kind of heading uh, offshore later on during the overnight hours. The timing for us, if you're closer towards Philadelphia, you're gonna be seeing those storms start around maybe four o'clock in the afternoon. And then if you're closer to the shore, maybe around six o'clock is when you start to see that activity. The rain will be a bit more widespread. You're gonna be seeing some pockets of some really heavy rain. And of course, the opportunity for some thunder and lightning. Right now, we're just keeping an eye on some uh, noticeable, slightly impactful, but hopefully not severe storms for tomorrow. Looking at your 70 forecast, a stretch of nice weather on the way. We're going to be uh, drier for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and even into the weekend, but it will also be a lot hotter and way more humid. Check out Friday afternoon in particular. The air temperature will be in the mid, if not upper 90s for most locations. You factor in those dew points in the 70s, and you'll be feeling closer to almost triple digit heat. So a uh, big bump in the uh, heat for the next couple of days so make sure you are staying cool but at least we'll get rid of the chance for some of those thunderstorms as we look forward to Thursday and Friday. Okay I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your night. I'll be seeing you tomorrow morning.